particularly enjoy my own food. I'm so excited. Welcome to Culinary School. I am Madeline Klein and I am an expert chef. I have a series of culinary tests and I will be proving my culinary prowess or lack thereof with said tests. I have time to cook for myself, but I choose not to. Yes, chef. Where am I taking? Diced onion. I feel like this is simple. I think the biggest challenge is just gonna be watching out for my fingers. I'm going to cut off the head and the butt. It's as technical as it gets around here. And discard the butt. The nails are not helping. I'm gonna cut the onion in half now. Oh, that's kind of not really the half. I watched a lot of Ina Garten growing up and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to cut the top. This kind of scares me. Fingers are out of the way. And then cut down. My confidence is coming back. This is how you dice. Look at that small dice. A small diced onion. You know what, I didn't cry. I feel like cutting an onion is simple. Order is up. One oyster shuck, dress and eat. Ooh, I grew up eating oysters in South Carolina and we always do oyster roasts. I feel like I'm in my element right here. This is a shucking glove, fucking shucking glove. <laughs> and you wear it because when you go to pick up your oyster, you don't want to cut yourself with your shucking knife. I'm looking for the, the opening. Where are you? Here we go. All right. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, that's a big one. I like to pour out the juice. It's a little too fishy for me. Remove the foot so it's loose. I like extra onions and vinegar. And then, delicious. To all those friends, family, family friends, who saw me refuse to eat oysters at the oyster roast, and opt for hot dogs instead. Look at me now. Oysters, done. Order up. A whiskey sour. I think the main characteristic that I always remember of a whiskey sour, is it an egg white? I think it's an egg white because we have to make it frothy. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> There's a lot of things to, to start with. Okay, um, it's a sour. So I imagine we use the juice of one lemon. Oh yeah. So this is fitting for my Nimes Out character because her name is none other but Whiskey. She likes Whiskey, she's a Wild Turkey 101 girl, I don't know. Maybe her parents were. <gasps> no, I broke it. No, I didn't. I'm trying to get the egg white out. I imagine the egg white is in here because we wanna make it kind of frothy. What's the point of a whiskey? Anything if it's not strong. And then a little simple syrup for the vibes. Now we put some ice in there. Right before I booked Outer Banks, I wanted to go to a bartending school. I wanted to learn how to make really cool drinks. This is our egg white. And now, wait. <laughs> Expert. Oh yeah. Really shake it. Strainer on it, and now, <gasps> I'm putting lemon around the edge to make it even more sour. I don't know, but it seemed right. I've seen bartenders do this, but probably not the way I'm doing it. Very real maraschino cherries. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself a 10 out of 10 for that one, I'm very proud. Let's try. I'm adding some um, more simple syrup. That's a little sour. First taste was like, Maybe four out of 10. Not great. It's a little watery, but it looks pretty. Cheers. Order up. One cupcake, frost and decorate. That's like yellow cake. And I like my yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Even pressure on the frosting bag. I have never done this before, but it's kind of therapeutic. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but it's kind of fun. Delicious. I didn't really make it though. Where's that whiskey sour? Mm mm. Call me Cupcake Boss. Order up. We're gonna make a pancake and we're gonna flip without a spatula. I think we should go the butter route. Pancakes were never my strong suit. So this might be my come to Jesus. Okay. Ooh. My mom told me you have to wait till it's bubbling. 
and we're starting to get some bubbles. This is good. Okay, we're gonna flip it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a good metaphor. You don't need to be a beautiful pancake to be yummy. Oh no, my phone! It got hit. Guys, I think my pancake's done. I think what happened on the flip was I lost confidence. Oh shoot, I forgot butter. It's not beautiful, but it's delicious. Order up. Diced pineapple, one inch cubes. No, I have not done this before. I feel like I should use this knife because it seems safer than this knife. You know the thing about pineapples is it's neither a pine nor an apple. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like a pine cone, but. He's not ripe just yet. I'm gonna take the skin off now. I think this is about right, where the brown parts are off. I feel like once I have the skin off, I'll feel good. Here we go. I also read that pineapple has an enzyme in it that when you eat it, it tries to eat you back, which is why if you eat too much of it, it hurts your tongue. I'm just cleaning the pineapple up a little bit. Here we go. I'm just cutting off all the yummy pieces from around the core. That's delicious. One inch. I was never good at math. It seems about right. Beautiful. Once you get the skin off, you're smooth sailing. Pineapples, they're rough around the edges, but they have a heart of gold. They're still a little spunky because they'll eat you back. You're after my heart. One glass of wine. I do love wine. I was actually in a vineyard or a winery a couple weeks ago. It was absolutely lovely. Usually I just pop the cork through the tin foil, but that's not working. I feel like I'm back to shucking the oyster. There we go. I have a really sick feeling that the cork might break. So this is a Chateau Milan. I watched a video of someone explaining how to look like you know what you're doing when it comes to wine tasting. You like do this, and then you look at the legs. Oh, there's a couple legs. Cheers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's very dry. Easy. Last one, okay, an omelet? It's time. A French omelet. I don't know what makes it French. What makes it French? I think we start with our eggs. What if we did a double? Oh yeah. Mash up your yolks. I think maybe it's French because it's like airy, like it has some air bubbles in it, perhaps. I'm gonna add some salt. And do it again. Butter. Oh yeah, okay. It's starting to look a little bit around the edges. And I see some nice air bubbles. Do I have to flip? Maybe flipping's not a good idea for me. Look at that jiggle. I don't know, guys. Is it starting to smoke? <laughs> I don't think it wants to flip. Okay, we're not gonna do that. That looks better. These are chives, I'm adding the chives because I feel like that's what makes it French. <laughs> I'm spiraling so hard. My therapist will be hearing about this. We focus on shaping and plating. Presentation is a part of the culinary experience. Do French omelet. It is airy. I added way too many chives. Kind of like grass on eggs. Don't come to my house for dinner or breakfast or brunch or lunch. <gasps> I feel like I'm in ratatouille. But it's fine. Here I have my culinary school diploma presented to me by Bon Appetit. I do not feel like I earned any of this, but I will take it. I feel like this challenge went surprisingly well. I already knew my, my weak points would be breakfast food. I think I need to work on my knife work. So while we're on the subject of knives, don't forget to catch Knives Out on Netflix December 23rd. Bon Appetit, thank you so much for having me and for giving me my first diploma since high school. I feel very validated. <laughs>